Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This demonstration is about installing and running App Inventor from a USB drive. App Inventor is a graphical user interface that allows you to create applications for an Android phone. Recently I was asked to teach App Inventor on computers where no additional software could be installed. This solution solves this problem for anyone involved in a similar situation. The outcomes for this tutorial include install Java on a USB drive, install App Inventor files on a USB drive, locate your file dependency for Java Web Start and App Inventor on the USB drive, and verify that App Inventor works by creating a simple Hello Per or Hello World program. Requirements Windows Operating System, Google Account, Java, Runtime environment, version 6.31 installed, App Inventor files installed, know your file de dependencies, where to locate J Java WS or Java Web Start, and, App and the App Inventor commands for App Inventor directory, and of course a USB 2.0 or higher flash drive. Additional info at appinventor.mit.edu and appinventor.org. To start using App Inventor, go to this website, http www.appinventor.mit.edu. It tells you a little bit about App Inventor. Uh, but where you start to use it is right here where it says MIT App Inventor. Now you will have to create a Google account where you sign in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new Google account so that. Uh, when I sign in, you won't see any previous work. It'll be like a fresh assi uh, a fresh sign in. So I'm going to clean, sign up, and current email address. It needs a current email address, so I'm going to sit there. I've created a current email address at Baba Mike Grainer. You can go ahead and finish creating a Google account on your own. I simply want to point out that you will need a current email address to create your Google account. Okay, after we have our Google account, a first step uh, to use a MIT App Inventor is to create or uh, is to make sure that we have the Java runtime environment. Okay, now I'm signed in with Google, and our next page right here is the actual page where we're actually going to create our projects and do some work. But first, we need to set up uh, Java and uh, MI, some files from uh, App Inventor onto the computer. So we go up here to Learn, Set Up. Step one: Set up your computer. Now because we're installing to a uh, USB drive, we're not going to follow these directions, but this gives us the links to where uh, we can get the correct file. Uh, your computer needs to run Java 6, so we're going to go to the Java 6 download page, W, and download it, and agree to and start free download. Now this will not take very long because it's just an assignment. So we're going to, uh, it's just a file that will get other files. We're going to save as. And I like to put everything into a separate downloads directory on the C drive. So I'm going to uh, start a new folder and call it Java for App in Center. And this is a Java runtime environment. It's not the software development ki uh, kit. Open it up. Click save. And it's completed. So we're simply going to open a folder and run it. Click yes. Now it's a little bit tricky because we're going to change the destination folder 
and so click right here and then click install and we're going to change the removable disk or the floppy drive no I'm sorry not the floppy but the uh, USB drive and we're going to make a new folder and the new folder we're going to make is called Java because we're going to base that everything here just like just like it is except we won't have a, a uh, program files click OK now you notice right here it says e new folder so we're going to click change again and this time we're going to click OK now it says Java and we're going to change and click on Java and we're going to make a new folder again and we're going to call it JRE6 and we're going to click OK so again it says new folder and we're going to go back and change make sure that now it says JRE6 click OK so now we're in the right place and finally we click next now this is going to ask you if you want to ask toolbar I always click no on these and then click next and this will install Java onto your uh, USB drive now it's going to take quite a few minutes to do this so we'll come back when this is finished and then uh, go on to the further installation. Now, it says you have ins successfully installed Java. We're going to uh, Java updates will be automatically download provide you with the latest features. Now this is not going to happen on the USB drive. To change this, see H, we're just going to leave this alone here. Click on close. Close this. Close the verified Java version. Close. We're back here for App Inventor for Android. We're going to go back to the learn page. Back to the setup page. Now it says test your Java configuration. It will not pass the Java test because we're running off the USB drive. And so we're not going to be involved in doing that. The next step is to go to instructions for Windows. And this is where we go and download the installer. Okay, once we have the Java runtime environments uh, installed on the USB drive, the next step is we're going to install the App Inventor files. And to do this, we're going to have to go down here to the bottom. It says instructions for install the App Inventor soft setup software and go and click on the link that says instructions for Windows. Now installing App Inventor setup for Windows, we're simply going to go where it says download the installer and up comes this window and we're going to save this to actually to my C drive into the downloads create a new folder app inventor open it and make sure the installer isn't saved in that folder it doesn't take very long, uh, but it does take uh, about a minute to set up the uh, uh, or download the installer. Once it's uh, downloaded, then we simply run it. Come back when it's fully downloaded. Now it's downloaded. Of course, it gives you a nice little message here. Let's uh, publisher 
couldn't be verified, but we're going to run it anyway. Click on Run. Click uh, Yes to the User Account Control. And for the Welcome Map Inventor Setup, click Next. Agree to the software. And we're going to browse to a different place to install it. Computer, Removable Disk. And we're going to make a new folder. Call it App Inventor and click OK. Again, we're going to have to go through this browse. Click OK. And so now we're in the right place. Click Next. SDK will be installed in the uh, commands for App Inventor instead. And we're going to click OK and install. And this is going to take um, several amounts to do the install. If you want to, you can show details. And if you want to play around with this, you can see where, uh, you know, some of these batch files, and you may. Uh, want to play around with this, uh, for example, the run emul emulator batch file to uh, get some of these dependencies uh, operating very a little more smoothly with uh, the USB stick, but uh, I'm not going to play with it. I'll just show you how to set the de dependencies uh, straight from the keyboard and uh, take it from there. We'll come back when uh, when this is uh, installed. Okay, now it's installed, completing app. We're going to click finish here. So, we're done here. So now that we've got Java installed and the App Inventor files installed, the next step is to write a simple Hello Perl, Hello World uh, application. Now I'm using a different virtual machine to write this application so that nothing is left over from the other virtual machine. Uh, no settings are left over. The only thing that's on here is the uh, USB drive. So let's log on to MIT App Inventor. And so we're going to create a new project, and we're going to call this Hello Per. Now, if you want the instructions for this project, uh, you could just simply go to Learn, and I'll show you where the instruction set up, set up your computer, instructions for Windows. And then scroll down here and build your first app with the emulator. I'll just drop it off, and that's where the instructions are at. But I'm just going to go back here and work from the uh, work without the instructions, and hopefully I won't mess it up too bad. So the first thing to ask you to do is. Uh, to download two files and the kitty file and the file and right here kitty picture so let's let's uh, right click working with actually I'm working with Firefox because I, I found a bug in uh, it's either a bug in uh, Internet Explorer 9 or this beta uh, app inventor where it doesn't expand the picture of the cat. So we're going to uh, save the link as, and we're going to go to the mic downloads. And you'll see I've already saved it. 
and it's a PNG image. So I could click save and it just automatically. And the same thing for the meow sound. Save link as. It's an MP3 format. We'll just click save. So these are two files you're going to need. So and then the instructions continue on on down the page here uh, that you can follow. But uh, I'll just go back here. Uh, we've got the two files saved, so we're going to add a button here, and we're going to put it into the viewer screen one. And for the image, we're going to add that kitty picture. Browse computer. Well, actually, it's. Uh, in the downloads by open and click OK. Now like I said in the Internet Explorer this wouldn't open then I'd have to change the width uh, instead of automatic I'd have to make a change to actually the size of the pixels but in Firefox it seems to work OK. And then we're going to just simply erase the, erase the text so the next thing we're going to have to do is open the blocks editor. Now it says open with Java TM Web Start Launcher. Now that's because I've been playing around with this, and so I've already got you know how to set this uh, Web Start Java Web Start file that is downloaded. So I'm going to show you exactly where to go to open it with. We're going to say other and browse. Now you're going to have to go to the USB drive and we're going to go to Java, JRE6, bin for binary, and Java WS for web start, Java web start application. And we're going to click open. And if you want to do this automatically, for files like this from now on you can simply click OK. Now the other item that sometimes is being asked while this is coming out is where to find a certain file, a certain folder. And this folder sometimes you'll be asked to find this folder right here commands for app inventor uh, that's after the Java web start file launches and you'll see where it is we installed it remove the disk app inventor and it's right and you're going to have to include that as part of that uh, what you're being asked for so I'm going to close this for now and F Inventor for Wardrobe, we're going to click Run. And the Blocks Editor is going to slowly open. Remember, we're working from uh, a flash drive, so it's not going to work. Now, we're going to use an emulator. An emulator is, is, emulates a phone. This emulator is going to load very slowly so uh, once I click on start you're going to see that it's going to take a while to get this thing going. I've clicked on there time is 303 it may take four or five minutes to get it going uh, and then the next step we're going to do is connect to the device. I'm going to come back uh, as each step of the way progresses. Now it's now 3.05, so it's taken, uh, what is it, th three minutes for this screen to come up. So now we click OK again. Uh, up comes our emulator. Now the next step after this is we're going to have to connect to a device. And in this case it says emulator 5554, and we're just going to a lot of times now it says app inventor is having trouble communicating with the device if you connect the phone unplug it anyway what is really happening here is it's 
the device is not ready to accept con connections. So we're going to click OK. And we're going to let the device, we'll put device here and bring the uh, uh, blocks editor back up. And we're going to let this device um, basically load. You're going to have to actually set it, wait for this screen to fill in and perhaps even open up the device before it will accept a connection. So we're going to wait. It's now 3.06. Now it's 308. Let's open up the device. We'll wait till uh so now our emulator and this is actually it emulates a phone. And we can take a look inside here and see some menu items should come up. Like I say, because we're working off a USB drive, this works very s slowly. Let's see if we can connect to the device right now. It says no available connection, no available devices. So let's reset the connections. Click on reset the connections. We see that our menu, and then we connect to the device, and then after we reset the connections, uh, once the screen has popped up. We're going to uh, so now the next thing that should happen is that we've got the cat that should come up in the screen. It's now 309 and like I say if you, it's going to take a while so you can see this connection item going now 310 the kitty has popped up and so we've got everything connected so we're ready to go on further so the next thing we're going to do is add some sound so I'm going to minimize the uh, app inventor blocks editor I'm going to add some sound click on media here sound actually drag a sound I'm sorry drag a sound onto the window and it's listed as a non-visible component make sure sound is highlighted for the source we're going to add and browse and see like I say it's mic downloads click on meow open and click OK then we're going to go back to the blocks editor Make sure we're in my blocks. Button one. When button one click, drag that over here. Drag the sound. Sound one pause, sound one play. Make sure this clicks in here. And so now, when we click on the cat, well, let me put this right here. When we click on the cat, it should meow. There it goes. So now this is a simple uh, Hello World program and hopefully uh, you can run this uh, off a you know, USB stick for your class if that's what you want to do it. It doesn't work fast but it does work if you're in a situation like I am where you can't install any software on the uh, computer. One other thing that I would like to point out on this computers is if we click start open windows computer 
computer removable disk E and you'll notice that now we have a file called users and in this case it's Mike so some of this data may uh, actually come up right there on your USB device if your computer has already got Java installed on it it'll probably be, it'll be installed on the C users directory but this is how this is going to work for a USB stick and this is where you got your app inventor and your emulator so close that make sure everything's working and uh, that's how to install app inventor on a USB stick thank you